You are live. We are live. You are live. And you're back. It's been three weeks. Let's see if anybody remembers that we had a date set. That's right. For today. Anybody out there going to join us for this recording? Come on, somebody. <laughs> there must be some person that has nothing better to do on a Sunday morning than to That's right. hang out with us. Watch two, two uh, guys rant about Macintoshes. <laughs> hey, Scarlet Swordfish, good morning to you. Oh, <laughs> Jeremy from London. All right. I remembered. I think there are a few that, that showed up last week or the week before. So you established that good routine and then broke it. All right. You ready to go, John? Are yeah, I'm all set. Yeah. All right. Well, let's begin the countdown at 45, 44, 43. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Apologies in advance for the audio. My my act my regular microphone is on the floor. I'm at a temporary glass desk, and I can't the clamp that I use. I mean, I could rig something. I got a good block of wood or something, but I can't clamp it to the desk because the the clamp requires something that's at least about that. Yeah, thick. you would have had to like get a piece of two by four or something to. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't have quite anything handy. So Jeremy was. Uh, oh, um, we're, he was on the ball. He had the actualist in in his calendar to. Uh, oh, remind him. perfect. All right, let's go in. Five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to the Retro Mac Cast with James and John. This is episode 552 for December 6, 2020. Good morning, John. Good morning, James. You, you mentioned the echo. It's the echo in this room. Yeah, you getting... have a big empty room still, huh? Yeah, this room is empty. The walls are bare. The, the floors are wood. And I'm, yeah, I'm getting that echo. Plus, I don't have my regular microphone. Those in the video can see I don't have my regular background nor the projected new background. Um, but but they, it is ooh. a work in progress, um, and that is kind of what we're going to be talking about today on today's episode, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, right. We'll be talking about what's been accomplished, what's left to do, along with the, the regular stuff we always talk about. Sure. Um, but yeah, I, I'd hoped. The, you know, the plans had been to unveil the new Maca today, but it didn't quite get there. But we're close. It's right there. Right? See it? <laughs> that door? It will be in there at some point in the future. I'm in a, a bedroom off of that because there's still work being done in there. Uh, well, not at the moment because the, the crew is uh, on break. The crew being me. Right, uh, right, right. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we'll talk about that. I'll share some photos, a little video, and um, yeah. But before that, we got a whole bunch of new members. Of course, we haven't been recording in, in three weeks while I'm doing this move. So we had a lot of people join the Facebook page. Let me run down the names. We had Tony Vasquez. We had Retro Games for Mac. Ooh, nice. Jason Moore. Daniel Van Mol, Jonathan Kleinow, Allo Mulder, Jose Howard B, Aiden Freeland, and Aiden has a nice uh, compact Mac profile picture. Kenneth Kathingst. I heard that beep. Where'd sorry, that, that, that was you? Mini V Mac launching. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, Gazunta. Uh, Kenneth. Oh, I said Kenneth Kathingst. Uh, right, sublet. Ah, right. Hello, right. Ted Hodges, Sebastian Betis, Imran Mirza, and 
Lea Lassa from Germany, I guess. Yeah, Imran yeah, is another yeah. friend of mine, uh, lives up in Canada. Uh, right, of course, oh, lives okay. right down in Shalimar. So, hey. Great. Nice. All right. Well, let's see. We're going to we're gonna do the regular stuff, the eBay funds. We're going to talk about the move. Anything else we need to mention here? No, I think we're welcome. good. Welcome to the folks that uh, joined us back in the in the oh, chat on hey, the live Derek. YouTube Hi. stream. Derek from Canada, Jeremy from London. Scarlet Swordfish, I can't remember where Scarlet is from. So uh, welcome everybody. All right, we'll be right back with some eBay finds. All righty. I've got to share the right screen. Help. That would help a lot. All right. You ready to go? I am ready. Let's go in three, two, one. It's time for eBay finds. I was just thinking, I, I should have mentioned at the beginning of the episode, you know, in the move, I, I failed to, to publish, to produce the last episode. <laughs> oh, really? How? Cause you know, Cause you know, we do the YouTube video. Right. Yeah, yeah. It feels like it's done. <laughs> and then I think I immediately started moving and forgot I never actually did upload the audio piece together, the audio podcast. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so these auctions definitely have ended by the time anybody's listening to the audio podcast. because It's been three weeks, but we'll catch up on them anyway. We had that pin from the Macintosh introduction in 1984, had that sort of quad image. That one sold. One bid got it for $12. Then there was the Think Different watch, right? The Think Different watch that runs backwards. And uh, not, not that it, it uh, not like it counts down or something, but it, it's just, it, it, it does keep time. It's just that the hands are reversed. Yeah, they go Wittershins. Yeah. And that one, after three bids, got $291.84 appropriately. Then the glasses, we're gonna talk more about these glasses, not the specific set, but another pair later in the news. But uh, this one sold for how much? Did you see how much, John? I didn't, no. Picture? $899.99. Well, it was the uh, buy it. Wasn't it a buy it now? It, it might have been. Yeah. Um, let me go back and look at the original listing here. Um, you know, when you when you look at the sale, it, it doesn't indicate that it was a buy it now. It just says ah, it was got sold. It. Right, right. It's sold, yeah. $899.99. All right. This week we'll begin with this a banner the title says incredibly rare macintosh hello launch banner at apple computer dealers store that's a nice it's banner. authentic it says it's from december 83 for the launch of the macintosh 84 it says one of few banners that were issued by apple computer that hung at the apple dealers made of tyvek with four grommets still intact makes it very easy to hang or frame it's very large. It's 74 inches wide by 39 inches tall. So it had to be taken outside for these photographs. This is a pretty nice looking banner. And yeah. um, of course it's got the, um, the original Macintosh with hello on the screen, typed Macintosh, the six color Apple logo in the lower left hand corner. I think we've seen these before. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised. But they don't come up very often. Right. It's a nice shot of the computer. It's a uh, yeah, that, this is the same one that was used. That same that shot of the computer is the same one that was used in the original uh, magazine ad. Mm. The uh, introducing Macintosh for the rest of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Boy, if you had the wall space to display this, mm -hmm. or if you had access to a high res image of this, the which which I own. which I do uh, you do 
Yeah. Did you do anything with it? Uh, well, it's it's it's. Uh, I recreated the original ad. That's the one I have signed by Jerry Manick and uh, mm. yeah, and oh. Andy Hertzfeld. Yeah. Is that hanging up somewhere? Am I gonna look uh, at it? Uh, right there. Oh, there you go. Yep. Perfect. There you go. Well, anyway, if you wanted one of these original banners, you're gonna have to cough up a starting bid of $2,995 or a buy it now of $3,995. This one ships from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. It's a shame. It the looks option. like it was stored folded and not rolled. I have to say it is yes. very, very, very creased, crease marks. very creased. You think you could, you think you could steam those out? What do you think? I think so. Yeah. Press them out. Right. Probably. Yeah. I think you could, it doesn't look like the, yeah, stretch it on the, the grommets creases. and then, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, we'll see if that uh, gets any bids. All right. All right. Next up, we have a vintage Apple Macintosh data modem, 20, a 2400 baud modem. Just, mm. just, you can, those downloads are just scream by at uh, 2400 baud. Um, uh, you know, I, uh, I, of course, still remember the days of modems. My first modem was a 1200. So uh, a 2400 would have been a godsend back then. Um, uh, this one is, it looks like it could, just comes with the power supply and the modem itself. It's got a buy, uh, starting bid, I'm sorry, of $139. Looks like a serial cable out there in the back, right? Uh, oh, you are right. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, you are correct. I see it now. Yeah. In great shape. I, I noticed the uh, the Canada sticker on the bottom. I don't know if this means it was a meant for sale in Canada. Maybe Derek can tell us the significance of the sticker. Um, you see the back. It's very clean. It is very clean. Yes. And I, and I was I was yeah. I was su suggesting that the form factor in this looks like it's probably about the same width as uh, an external floppy. Um, this looks like it's a, you know, a lot smaller than like some of the ones that were out for the, uh, around Apple II era that were Apple branded mm -hmm. modems. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's very clean and what's it, what's it sitting on? Is that some kind of little stand? I don't know what's going on there, that little black. Right. Yeah. Thing. I can't tell if that's part of it or if that's something they just propped up. I think that maybe just something they propped up the ends so uh -huh. you can see the ends. Uh -huh. Is my guess. Anyway, I just I just love the uh, how the design language yeah. of that era comes down to these peripherals. Um, it just it just looks like a tiny little Mac, doesn't it? Um, mm -hmm. it? Looks like the like a miniaturized two SI or even, <laughs> you know something like that. It's um, you know complete with the the the, the inset Apple logo. Um, imagine using this as a case for some kind of project. Um, right, right. Yeah, I, I actually have a last uh, Ventures Computer Festival that we I actually got to go to in person. I picked up a, an empty three and a half inch drive shell mm -hmm. um, to to do something that I was thinking about using to put a, one of the SCSI to SDs in. I think mm -hmm. it would be ideal for that. Um, right. So yeah. Yeah, you just don't see these uh, very often. I, uh, most there's people, actually, there's you know, actually one more on eBay right now in oh, the yeah? box, complete for 175. Oh, wow. Buy it now. So there you go. A little bit more, but you get the mm -hmm. yeah, you get the box. Yeah, because you know these Apple peripherals were pricey. Mm -hmm. Put that oh, Apple yeah. logo on there <laughs> back and, in the uh, day. Exactly the price. Yeah, so they, I, I'm sure they didn't sell a whole lot because the the third party sold way more more um, reasonable prices, but uh, yeah, it's reasonable now. $139. All right, let's move on to this one right here. If you've got a, a logic board and no case or monitor power supply, all the other bits, you can do something with your board. This one is a Macintosh plus and somebody has decided to frame it in a shadow box which um, looks great. I like it. 
I like what they've done with this. Um, gives you a nice chance to study it up close, get some mm -hmm. lighting on that. The uh, picture's a little dusty. It looks like they do some cleanup. I think that's on the outside of the glass. I don't know if that's glass or, or uh, plexiglass there, but they put it on like a, you can see the texture of the backing? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it looks nice. Like a, like a leather red or something. Leather-ish, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't, and I'm not even sure if it's, is it, I wonder if it's glued. I don't see any uh, physical attachment points. Yeah, I was wondering about that. I, if, uh, I don't see any screws in the corner, so I'm wondering how they actually have that, that, that mounted in there. Uh huh, uh huh. But, huh. um, but yeah, it looks yeah, nice. It looks it, very it's well done. very, mm -hmm. very classy looking in that, uh, that black frame. I think one thing that would need to be added, I, I would do, is some sort of plaque. Right. Yes, something. I was I was just yeah something down in the corner maybe printed on uh, transparent, so you've got kind of just like a floating Apple logo and uh, Macintosh Plus uh, logic board and the years right. of uh, manufacture mm -hmm. or something like yep. that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, this would be um, you know if I eventually do well, I, I will have to at some point or somebody will have to do it for me after after my time, but there's <laughs> out my collection. <laughs> And distill it right to the essence of some of these Macs. Um, this might be a way to go because uh, it would take up way less space if I just had the logic boards of a few of these framed in a grid on the wall um, like this. Or even, you know what, you, you could take, we talk about that, the idea of a little plaque with some information, a, a picture yeah. also, right, yeah. of, of the Mac in which this was held. Um, put that in that little little info panel too um, would be great um but yeah that's that's a cool idea i like how they've done that so that is available hundred dollars is a starting bid it's three days to go this ships from anderson south carolina okay andy See, just got here did you miss anything oh you missed everything <laughs> everything it's, it's done andy oh, we Come can on, roll man. it back Let's roll it back. We have to go back. Nip, that nip. Hurry up. I action retro. Good morning. Um, I, I I just want to let you know that I just bought a video card for my G4 Cube. Thanks to you. Uh, so uh, thank you for that. Uh, I love all the amazing things that he's been posting uh, of things he's been doing with his cube. I love it. Scarlet reminds us that it's pure Snow White. That's right. That's the design yes. language mm -hmm. of that uh, yeah. modem. Um, which, which is funny because it didn't seem anything special at the time. I mean, it wasn't that outlandish or anything, but the, as the years roll on it, I just, I get more and more nostalgic for that design language. <laughs> you know, there's something about the clean simplicity of yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Let's see. We're moving on. We're, we're, we're going to talk about you. We're going to talk about me, my favorite subject. Let's see. I got to. I got to reconfigure here. Um, need to share a different screen. Yeah, I was hoping you were going oh. to show the uh, the picture of your garage uh, that you put on Facebook. Something happened to. Oh, here we go. Let's see if I can find everything that I need to show up on the screen to share with everybody application window oh here we go there it <laughs> oh who's that we're going to talk about you too all right let's go let's start recording in five four three two one okay well i'm not quite in the new room, still some work to be done. So instead of sharing the finished results, I thought I'd share the work in progress. And that began with the epic move on this day, whatever day that was, I don't remember, it was three weeks ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. John volunteered to uh, bring over his computer moving vehicle. <laughs> 
Which, yeah, not, which, not, not the most ideal, <laughs> but uh, but you know, <laughs> since we didn't want to stack the stuff too deep, um, I suppose it probably worked yeah. fairly well. The car barely fits John, so I was wondering how many computers. <laughs> It is a three seater if I'm driving. It is it is definitely not a four person vehicle if I'm driving. <laughs> but with the back seats down, the Fiesta was uh more than capable hauling a bunch of computers. So there's the photo loading up a uh, initial take of um well this couldn't this had to have been with the amount you were sweating there, I this couldn't have been the uh -huh, first time. No, that's that's a shadow from uh from the tree above. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah. That's a, no. no yeah. That's the shadow. Yeah, I was I wasn't shadow. sweating at all. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> that maybe you were nervous handling all that expensive merchandise. I was being very careful because of course we all know <laughs> just how crazy brittle <laughs> some of this plastic has gotten. Yeah. And actually speaking of that, I in the whole uh, moving all these computers, um I only broke like a handful of uh, feet off of like the like the pizza box, like that. You know the the, the broke off or, the, or just the uh, they got gummy and uh... no, they they broke. Well, okay, Th there were some some gummy rubber. Yeah, okay, that's different. That was happening kind of all over the place. Sure, sure. Um, where you'd have one of the, like a laptop or whatever sitting on a case, and it, it had the the feet of the of the laptop had melted into the top to the... of the next computer. Yep. Yeah. Now, I'm talking about broken plastics oh no the, so the centra 610 and, and those cases they have those weird curved little feet plastic right. feet yes yeah 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 it looked cool but mm -hmm. were, couldn't they could barely support their own weight you know when the, when the plastic was was, was sturdy new. and yeah <laughs> that, and so those were just they would just crack and just snap off oh they, they that hurts just, yeah I had a, a few of those go but whatever maybe maybe like two i think Okay. So it's not that bad. Out of the, I think I have about 12 models that share that. So uh, not too bad. Not too bad. We didn't, we didn't put our hands through the sides of anything right. or uh, anything like that. Um, but anyway, so there's, um, there's one of the trips over. Um, there I am. I, I can store a few more, but, but like you said, we can't stack them that high because yeah, of the yeah. risk of damage. So even though I had more volume, um, it really didn't, um, matter that much because we couldn't couldn't really stack computers up like that so it's kind of what it looks like hauling max um i had max you know they were in maca they were in my regular office they were in closets in other rooms of the house and so i was pulling computers from all over the place i had no idea i kept pulling out max bagged you know in those, right. uh, those yeah. original carrying cases i thought i had maybe three or four I think I wound up having eight as I kept pulling him out of closets from the house. So of course, not remembering what even was in those things. Uh -huh. I mean, other than them being classic Max of some, some shape or form. Um, so then you got a picture there. And then in the new garage, oops. Let's so, zoom out. so one of the things I wanted to ask car. you yeah. is um, what was your biggest surprise of, Finding, oh my gosh, I didn't even remember I had this. Do you did you run across any of those sort of things? Like, I know you found an extra car, uh, Apple toy car that you didn't remember you had. Yeah, I thought I had them all kind of collected together. Yeah, the uh, the little Porsche models, the yeah, cat models. Was there um, anything else that you're like, ah, oh, ha ha, yes, this thing? No, it was just sort of a a general um, sense of oh. I have those. It wasn't, there wasn't anything that stuck out. It was just kind of all like that, you know, when you right. start opening drawers and right, right. it's just, yeah. I mean, there was some inkling that I had that, but it was not like any of this stuff was fresh on my mind. So no, there wasn't something that really, really stuck out that, oh, okay. wow. Oh, I forgot um, I had this original Lisa or, uh, oh, what's this Apple one board <laughs> doing here? <laughs> I really shouldn't um, be using that as a drinks tray anymore. I uh Yeah. So there we go. We just started stacking this stuff up in the garage of the new house and just moving it over. We we're trying to make some good progress, but I had John to help. And uh there it is just kind of just 
just finding space. I, I just would yeah. try to cram it all in one stall of the garage. Because again, we didn't want to stack them too much. Um, now you can see there's some stacking of some couple the, the, like the, like the two E's, but the two E's never got like uh, a plastic brittle issue. Yeah, they're sturdy too. Yeah, um, yeah, you can see like Mac twos and whatever things with sturdy metal chassis um, did pretty well. But there's you know there's mix of peripherals and mm -hmm. you know, monitors, disk drives, boxes of software, lots of different things. And 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 actually the bulk of the the miscellaneous stuff wasn't even moved that day. Uh, I had to. I did that in subsequent days. Right. Yeah. This. This was just the computers. Oh, uh, yeah. A part. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Somewhat. Because I know. Uh, yeah. Uh, your. Your. Uh, what I assume is going to be the next picture you show is going to kind of uh, show well, a bit more. Yeah. So what happened is I had all this stuff up uh, crammed in here, and then. Um, this is kind of the, what the result of what John and I did in probably three hours. And then over the next couple of days, I moved more computers because I think you and I probably knocked out about, I don't know, 70% or so of it. And then, um, I was looking at everything and I decided, you know what, this will probably be the last time that everything is assembled in one place for one photo. Mm -hmm. And so it's much work it's going to take. I should arrange these for that opportunity. And so that's what I did. And it took, I don't know, it didn't take that long because, but, but I did move, had to move it probably 30 feet to the other side of the garage mm -hmm. and get everything arranged for a proper photo. And so there's the, the first of the proper photos, actually. I, um, so it looks, it's a, you know, all the miscellaneous boxes are out of the way, the, the, the monitors and whatever. And here's just the computers, the laptops and the desktops, all arranged um, roughly together, you know, in, in family groups, sort of in chronological, but not necessarily because it was, I just, I just started, you know, just, just going and seeing what I can do. And so I did that and did the process noticed that there was some stuff missing and then i even found more computers after this and i didn't even <laughs> yeah i didn't even get a photo of the final setup which oh really included, wow. um, yeah which would include a few more computers the x serve uh, i found oh, the yeah, mac yeah. mini mm -hmm. remember i asked you about the mac right. mini. the mac mini yeah. is actually in this photo you just can't see it and i found it later in the um Behind, this is a, a you know a titanium oh, stand, powerbook. right? Yeah, uh -huh. it's sitting on a stand, one of those uh, rain M stands or whatever it is. On the bottom of that stand is the is the G4 <laughs> Mac Mini. <laughs> and so I was looking, I was looking all over the place, searching boxes, I couldn't find it. Eventually, I remember. Let's see, where was it originally? <gasps> it was in the bottom of that stand, and sure enough, it was there. So I that's great. Later on, I I took it out of the stand and set it on the desk. Uh, people had commented in the Facebook group about you know. You don't have an excerpt. I was like, well, I do have an excerpt. It's just not there. So I had to go get it. I found a couple of box to max. I added those. I didn't get a picture of all this, but I did start, decide to shoot a video. And that. Um, oh, I haven't seen this yet. Oh, you haven't seen the video. No, um, I haven't. The video was sort of an experiment, too. I shot one and I streamed it live using this platform off my phone in the garage and the quality was so bad. The bit rate was low. It was mm -hmm. stopping and stuttering. Um, so I decided to yank it and shoot another one, not live stream it, just, just shoot it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, and so that's up there on YouTube in our channel. If you haven't seen it. Oh, great. Okay. It's about 20 minutes long of me talking about the collection, the origins of it, uh, how it came to be, and um, what's in it, and then just kind of walking around and, and showing footage of everything. Oh, fantastic. So, so uh, we'll, we'll record your reaction to my video. Right. Yeah, there you right go. Now. <laughs> so, uh, um, now, I, I know besides moving computers, you have made other progress because I, I, I know you sent me a picture of your shelves that you've been yeah. assembling. 
yeah. to uh, okay. To so so if what will right. be Mecca? Yeah. So if you go in order of what had to happen next, I had to get all this out of the garage, and I'm not sure it was the best idea to decide I'm going to uh, have a computer museum on the second floor of the house <laughs> that has high ceilings. So there was about 20 steps that I had to move all of these. The final count here was 194. Oh, wow. Computers. Now, some of those are easier to move than others, right? Sure, sure. Um, yeah. a, uh, a, uh, a Macintosh PowerBook Duo, for example, I can, I can carry a stack of 20 of those as opposed to your move. your server yeah. right that yeah. server right there it's amazing how heavy that stupid thing is oh the aluminum one yeah yeah the, the extra, but but it can't be anything compared to the uh the end table server the end you know, table the, yeah, oh, the, the, yeah the yeah uh, the, the big the apple giant. network server mm -hmm. yeah that one i didn't even move upstairs so i just left oh, okay that. it's still in the garage <laughs> got it that one's going to be a, point, definitely a, up there. A, two people yeah, a hand cart. Yeah, maybe. yeah, you, you right. Yeah, it's you, you can't move that by yourself. I, don't, no. I can't remember what that uh, what that weighs, but um, no. So I had to move everything, everything but the, the the handful of ones I left down there. Moved it all up. It took many hours up up and down the stairs. Got everything up there, and it's it's kind of a a big um, I don't know if Tetris is the right word. You know when you're trying to move stuff around but mm -hmm. you, you also need space to build stuff for it to go in yeah and it's the whole thing because because it was this it was a it was the least efficient pipeline ever because i needed to get these out of the garage because i needed other stuff from the house to come in because i'm trying to get everything out of the old house um but anyway so i got all this stuff up there and now you're talking about the shelves the shelving that that process began so i have built um, some shelves for the back wall. So if you've seen the video, you've seen that the virtual representation has the shelving behind me. That is up and populated with a few computers, but the other side of the room that has the bookshelves and my desk, that has not been built yet. That's, okay. I got to start working on that today. The desk is scheduled to be delivered the end of this week. Um, so as long as I have the bookshelves ready to go when the desk arrives, I can build the desk and have everything to together. It's unlikely that'll all be finished by next week. Uh -huh. So it will probably still another week after that before everything gets unveiled. Um, so anyway, of, the, of, the, uh, of the computers that yeah. are going to be behind you, um, are you going to have any of them uh, so you can only turn them on and... Uh have them display stuff? Is it pretty much going to be like it was at Maca where you've got, you know, they're, they're, they're on the shelf and you may have like one or yeah, two. Yeah, no, I'll have a, no, I have a plan to, to have a handful of them, maybe up to a half dozen or so. There's enough space on these shelves where I can have full keyboard and mouse. That's nice. That's very nice. And there's enough height at each level that, yeah, that, that you could actually sit at them. Um, not sit at them, but stand at them and see them in operation. So uh, let me show, I got, I do have a photo here I can share of the shelving as it's coming in. Let's see, we got to go back, uh, go back to this screen right here and there. All right. So there yeah, you see there the you shelving go. coming into play. Yeah. So, um this will be behind my desk be my backdrop and so there's a it's pretty much just like the the virtual representation right and so you have a right. classic mac there and these are all metal shelving so way better than the essentially closet shelving i had before where i didn't even have any couldn't even put any towers the most any of these shelves would hold before was a was a g3 imac um, but i will have along the bottom here the complete evolution of the Macintosh tower. Oh, nice. Starting with the Quadra 700. In fact, they're, they're already there. I'm not going to, I'll save the photos for the final unveiling, but 
I've moved in the towers across this bottom. Very cool. Level here. Yeah. With a little interruption here in the middle because I'll have some classic Max along this middle section. Um, yeah. So there you go. So maybe a couple weeks out, I think. Um, and well, it's looking good. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm excited to see the, the final results on that. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, we'll, we'll give you an update next week and see how it's going. All right. Oh, Scarlet likes your curves. Uh huh. Of the picture. Uh, you know, yeah, the, yeah. It was a really cool. I mean, that was that. I really think you should, you know, if you if you want to, you know, print out mm -hmm. of that. I know, I know a guy who's got access to a large format printer. And I think it would make a nice, uh, maybe picture somewhere. What are we talking about? Um, the uh, the oh, picture the, of the, the one set up in the of, garage. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it's picture worthy. Maybe for a scrapbook someplace. Um, maybe maybe a wallpaper at least for your, for one of the computers. Yeah. I don't know. It, it, it bugs me that I mean, I, <laughs> everything bugs me. Right. I mean, I, I wanted, I, Is that whole G that picture bugged me. oops, oops, something fell down. Um, no, because I, I, I would have rather, you know, really late. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like my line. order and, uh, -huh. well, and then all those poor laptops, none of them, I think there's just one, that mm -hmm. has its display open, right? But you, I mean, you have the history of every single laptop yeah. that they ever made there, and, and I did consider that actually as I was moving there. I said, "Well, why don't I break out just Chunks. the laptops and just sure. do a photo of mm -hmm. those?" Right? Mm -hmm. um, I was like, "Oh no, I got to, <laughs> I got to get this over with. I got so much work to do. I just can't." Um, I could do that later, right? Right. I mean, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The laptop exactly. Once you have space, because everything will be organized, right? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Just so much work. It's, it's been an exhausting few weeks. All right. Um, what's next? We're going to talk about some news. Let's the see. news. Let's, uh, yeah. Let's bring those links up. Let's see. Get back to... Oops, no, I'm gonna find out what I'm there we go. What I'm sharing here. Apple sharing Cork this. Campus. All right, you ready to go? Yeah, all set. Let's go in five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, before we talk about that though, let's talk about the amazing reception the new Macs are getting. You know if, if other folks are, are tracking this the reviews online the youtube videos the m1 chip is um hit right and all yeah right holy Macs, cow the performance that people are cranking out of this thing um across the board mm -hmm. I, I mean with with native running apps running apps through rosetta 2 mm -hmm. running Par ios parallels apps, running uh I guess somebody is already seen, working on, yeah. Yeah, I've seen some stuff with the crossover. Yeah, um, you know, just running native PC apps through stuff like crossover. Just you know, just yeah, the functionality alone, yet yet reasonable performance. It's just um, incredible, and, th and this is just the beginning. This is kind of the entry level, and then there are rumors right. of the next version, the performance, more performance oriented one. Um, like the M1X or something like that. I can't recall in Macintosh history um, more favorable reviews, more excitement. <laughs> of a new product, yes. Yeah, yeah, really. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, like, I... I <laughs> I, I don't know, especially in a, in, a, in a world we are where we love to hate, right? Mm -hmm. When they're always looking for something to to dig at it. Um, there's just so much love for these Macs. Um, I don't know. It, it's making me want to break down and, and get one, but I got too much going on right now. All right. Well, um, Apple is, of course, paving the future of 
computers and processing, but they always have been looking back and they just commemorated 40 years of the, the campus in Cork, Ireland. 40 years, a uh, rich history there um, of production, of all kinds of stuff. And they posted this article on November 17th, which has some beautiful photos, mm -hmm. probably never before seen, at least by the public. Um, and so I was kind of uh, sleuthing these photos. Now the photos are, they're kind of intermixed. They've got some modern photos in here in this collage. But uh, if you look carefully, you'll see some cool stuff. Like, look at this upper left here. Look at all the, the oh, compact maps. Yeah. There. Wow. Look at the uh, Apple logo. It's still the old, old uh, with the skinny, yeah. skinny left yeah. butt cheek. Yeah. Look at that warehouse and and the six color Apple logo stripe running around the warehouse. There. That is really cool. There's a photo of the assembly line. And I like this one over here on the right side. Look at that. You get the yeah. six color Apple logo, but look look what's there in the middle of it. The um Oh the hot air the balloon. Hot yeah. air balloon. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, look at look at this guy uh testing some some Max or woman, I should say. And could be a guy, I don't know. I'm gonna guess woman here in the photo. And they're testing a Mac portable. Got their uh, dual cassette boombox there playing some music and testing it using um, a pair of SEs, it looks like. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So some really, really neat photos there um, over there on Apple's newsroom. Oh, there's one other photo, though, I got to show. Look at this. Oh, yeah, right, right. Oh, wait. Look at down here. Um, uh, oh. there. there you go. There's a few old photos here of Steve Jobs at the facility. What are those? Are those disc twos? What do they got there in front of them? Yes, they are, yes right those are disc twos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little disc two facility. So, you know, way back in the Apple II days, look at that photo. I've never seen that before. And then there's one from the outside. Look at that sign. Of course, I, I have one of those signs that was um, similar to that, right? Created kind of the, um, they, they sort of uh, sandblasted away everything except the Apple computer, mm -hmm. and, uh, the lettering there and the Apple logo. So um, I got to get that sign hung in, in the new place that I have. It's not big like this. Can you imagine that sign? That's probably like <laughs> eight feet long. And uh, finally, there's a shot of, uh, of the facility, the manufacturing looks like they're cranking out what uh max do you see do you see the uh, overhead line with the hooks hanging what looks to be classic max you know i i'm not seeing those pictures on on my uh on my link here that's did you have to go to another page for those um they are on you have to you have to page through them oh i see okay all right left to right yeah got it got it okay i see now um but uh, yeah, some real, real cool photos anyway. All right. We were talking about those six color Apple logo sunglasses that were sold for what, nearly a thousand dollars. Well, mm -hmm. here's a pair going up for auction. I think they're a different pair, right? We decided that. Cause yeah, yeah. Because th th these don't have a chip in them. Whereas the other ones had a chip in one of the, in the uh, leaves. Yeah, they're not. Uh, if they were, ch if they had a chip, they'd be like smart sunglasses, right? Oh, not that kind of chip. <laughs> yeah, the defect chip, right? Yeah, these look. These are pristine. Look at those things. Of course, the uh, story was that um, they were custom made, thirty pairs of them, or Wozniak, and uh, these are going to go up for auction at a RR auction called the mm -hmm. Steve Jobs plus Apple auction. A number of items here to talk about, including um, an Apple One signed by Steve Wozniak, estimated to be sold for over four hundred thousand dollars. There's a bunch of uh, signed Steve Jobs and Woz items, right? Um, look, look at that. There's a a Monsters in Q, Q sheet signed by Steve Jobs. 
a whole bunch of cool items that I've not seen before, but they expect to get at least a thousand dollars for those glasses. Um, Dell Yoakum's Apple II, uh, a pre-production 2C Plus. How about, what would you pay for a hand-drawn Apple II schematic from Steve Wozniak? Look at that. Wow, wow. There's a Star Trek game cassette for 500 bucks. I've got one of those. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that they're worth $500. I hope so. Um, the 500,000th Macintosh computer, a, uh, a three-button mouse from Douglas Engelbart, Steve Jobs business card. I mean, a lot of cool stuff in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll have to cycle back or circle back, I should say. Yeah, because uh, uh, like, what these, like go these for. go on the uh, – this, this auction for the glasses is on the 8th. So just a few days. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I'm that's sorry, over uh, at the 10th ends the 17th. I'm sorry. Okay. RRauction.com. Okay. John, are you going to apply? Or am I going to apply? Oh. <laughs> to be the official Apple archivist or archivist, however you want to pronounce that. Apple is looking for candidates with a strong passion and aptitude for physical archiving. Hey, didn't we just do some of that? <laughs> to join the industrial design group's archive team. How awesome would that listen, job Listen be? to these key qualifications. Right. Emphasis on product identification systems. Thorough knowledge of the history and evolution of Apple's culture and products. Ability to assist archiving and support needs and develop effective solutions from the ground up. Ability to juggle multiple projects simultaneously over long periods of time. Ability to research background information when not provided. Knowledge of Excel, numbers, illustrator, photos, and file maker. Um, sounds like that's what we kind of do. Pretty much, right, um, right. For free, yeah. <laughs> uh, wouldn't, that be, wouldn't that be cool? Absolutely. If, if either of us were in the right stage in our life or whatever yeah, yeah. to be able to apply and, and move out there. I don't think you can telecommute this one. This it would be difficult. The yeah. If you're, if yeah. you're actually supposed to be physically archiving things. Yes. That would be quite the commute. Right. But, uh, holy smoke. That, yes. Uh, that's tailor made. Right. Um, uh -huh. I, think, I think for any of our listeners, pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, so that's uh, really cool. And uh, let's see, let's end with some creations by one of our favorite archivists, 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 uh, Dana Severo over at um, NanoRaptor. She's archiving her own fantasy, Max. And look at this one. Um, oh, this one title nice. is called the Macintosh Power Portable. And it's a mashup of the Macintosh portable and a modern Mac. So you've got some neat things going on here. Um, so you've got the traditional Macintosh portable case, it's a little slimmer, I think, slim down. And it is, well, the, I guess the, the, the cool thing about it is the uh, touch bar. <laughs> right. right, and the nice widescreen black and yeah, white wide display. Screen, can you imagine uh, a touch bar using that LCD technology of the day? You've got your uh, your control panels there ready to go. The little slider for your speaker volume. Speaker, just, just the one speaker, right? The Macintosh Power Portable. Beautifully done. That's nice. <laughs> and then uh, the other one I want to show. This is This is pretty cool. Um, oh, wow. A little project here to decorate a room. I, uh, I once took, and somewhere I have a, th there was a poster of. Yeah, it had the Dalmatian and the flower power yeah. patterns in, uh, you know, kitty it, corner to each other. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I figure what the other I, two squares were. I think they were the computers. Okay. They had the patterns in a quad and then the uh -huh. computers. Got it. And uh, I extracted just the patterns, the, the square of the flower power and the square of the blue Dalmatian, framed, matted and framed those. 
and hung just those two together. They're okay. The wall. Yeah, I don't. I'm surprised you didn't see it. They're they're above the sink in the old place. Oh, okay. And uh, but anyway, so so Dana took that idea and went bonkers with it. Decided to to paint a whole room with flower power. And my gosh, that is crazy. That is who wouldn't want to live absolutely, in that room, absolutely. work in that room. <laughs> It's spectacular. <laughs> All right. Well, if you want to see what uh, she's up to, you go to twitter.com slash nanoraptor. All right. That's right. A touch bar you would need a stylus to use. I couldn't <laughs> use your, your finger on it. Okay. Let's see. Are we ready to wrap it up? I think so. Uh, so yeah. next week we we've got uh, we could do uh, time capsule, or we could do gift ideas for the Mac. Oh yeah, we'll be in the holiday because it is the it is that time. Yeah, time of year. Uh, let's get uh, about five each, maybe. Yeah, sounds good. All right, let's go in three, two, one. All right. Well, we are at the end of another episode of the Retro Madcast. We will be back next week. I probably won't be recording from the new place. I think the way things are shaping up, I have at least another week to go. So um, I'll be doing that. But what we'll do is gift ideas. We'll get into the holiday season. Maybe share our uh, top five a piece of. Um, Gifts for that classic Mac fan in your life or yourself. Things to buy for yourself. As often as the case, other people aren't. Aren't um, well. The people right. that they don't know, they don't know gifts, what to they get. They don't listen to this. Right. That's right. right. It's it's a uh, it, it's that's the conundrum there. So um, you'll have to get it for yourself or, or give them a very specific list. <laughs> All right, so we'll take care of that. Uh, thanks again to everybody that joined us. We had a big crowd, for our standards, a big crowd. Uh, I think five is a big number for us. <laughs> Did we have five? <laughs> I think we got about five. Um, so thanks, everybody, for coming. But an international audience, as always, That's right. which is great. Yeah. Klaus from Sweden joined us again. You know, we got Jeremy from London. And where's Scarlett from? Uh, uh, Indiana. Wait, it's 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 up uh, here here in the oh, list. Oh, very somewhere. cosmopolitan. Do we do we get that? Oh, no, it's all the way back in the beginning. I, I oh, okay, it. all right, yeah. yeah. Um, so thanks everybody, Jeremy from London. Yeah, Indiana. Andy Collins. There's, has joined us. Um, all right. Well, let's Hopefully see. We'll... See yeah, everyone back else? here next week. Hey, you got that? Uh, you got that Pie Boy at your at your? Oh yeah, the reach. Yeah, it's I not, do. Not Mac, but it's certainly retro. Uh, so this is the this is the best case. Yeah, I think between uh, James, you probably have about three or four different versions of these as, as they've come out. Say, I thought you were going to say this is the best case scenario. Oh uh, my goodness! Well, it is actually. All right, so. Totally wait, wait, off let's, topic. Wait, let, yeah. we can talk about that for a little bit. Let's, but let's let's stop the audio podcast. Oh yeah, yeah. Topic. Let's do that. Okay. All right. So let's. Right. Um, so we'll be back next week. <laughs> we'll talk about uh, gift ideas, and until then, remember it's not old. It's retro. Yeah, All right. So now we, this case. <laughs> as soon as we get to the rabbit hole, we stop. We forget that we're actually doing an audio. All right. Podcast. So the best thing about this case compared to all the other Pi ones, is you have complete access to all the USB ports in the network. Oh, port. wow. Look at that. Even um, even an Ethernet hard. Yeah, Ethernet yeah, yeah. Because this is this is the end of the of the uh, Pi itself. So this is the normal end of the Pi. Um, yeah. and and it has a very nice built in screen, but it also has access to HDMI out. So you can use it as a uh, you can use it as, as just like a console, yeah, hook up your your USB controllers, hook it up to your TV and it's a nice portable. And then, of course, it's it's battery, and and you know you can take it with you. Uh, I forget it's running a Pi Four. Pi Four, yeah, yeah. So D pad, 
analog stick, six buttons, and two buttons on the back. So it's got pretty much every crazy control you could ever hope for. And again, USB ports. Uh, so I'm uh, looking for. I just got this put together yesterday. Nice to bought the clear case for it. James, yours should be in, I'm guessing, in shortly since we ordered these, I think, the same day. The same minute. Yeah. Um, yes, I yes. will probably never see mine because I had it shipped to my old house and mail forwarding has kicked in and USPS doesn't work well when you forward packages. So uh, I mean, Even though your house is only, what, two miles, uh, two miles uh, away. Mm -hmm. That was nice for the move, uh, the fact that your house was only uh, a two-mile uh, two uh, drive. So anyway, but yeah, this is a good case. Very nice. No, it's not a paid sponsor thing. This is just me geeking there's out a, over this. You see, there's a sneak peek. You oh, hey, kind of. It's a very Ah, sneak. you already have some stuff on the shelves. Okay. There you go. You're, if you look back there. there, you look carefully, you can see some computers there on some nice. shelves yeah. back in that room. So oh, I'm bumping the everything out here. Um, yeah. <laughs> Race of Heavenly Life. That's right. Yeah, there's a <laughs> there's actually a window um, in there from which I'll have to pick the right Apple sign. I had a window in the old place that has my stained glass, uh, right? No, the, the neon, uh, the neon light mm -hmm. of the Picasso logo, which is the most incredible thing I have, I think, of everything I have, a neon, working neon light of the Picasso Mac logo. That is gorgeous, yeah. Which, because I crammed so much stuff in that room, I wound up putting shelves in front of that mm -hmm. wall, so you couldn't even see it back in that window. The window had been covered up for years, so now, I need to get that out of You there. have more than one neon, uh, don't you have? Well, you have some uh, neon lit <laughs> Apple logos, correct? Well, I have a neon, just a regular outline of an Apple logo. Uh -huh. That one got smashed. And so I had oh, no. Out. Oh, ow, that hurts. Uh, it... I, I, I wonder, did I, did I break it? I can't remember. It seemed like it worked at some point. So I must have broken it or something happened to it. And uh, yeah, but anyway, yeah, I've got a number of really cool signs. I don't know if I'm going to put the neon sign in the window. Uh, well, yeah, you want that. I don't even know if it's still, I, it, it, hopefully it still works. Yeah. It's probably been 10 years since I turned the thing on. It'd be cool for an episode just to have it and me trying to turn the thing on and see, see what happens. But um, I've got some other cooler signs, some, something that looks good from the street because it will, that is at the front face of the house. And, uh, you know, it'd be cool if while I'm recording, I turn the neon sign on to show that's my recording light. That's right, your recording light, exactly. But I, I, I get scared turning it on every time because it's, you know, 40 years old or whatever. Um, so... We'll figure that out anyway. All right. Yeah, window equals sunlight equals yellowing opportunities. That's right. That's right. Anything else, John? I, I think I'm good. Okay. Well, I think we've we've exhausted another hour of everybody's time. Thanks again, everybody out there. We'll see you next week. Stay safe. Bye, everyone. Take care. Bye. <laughs>